Uh, 45 years, summer in Cincinnati has kicked off with Summer Fair. The annual Fine Arts and Craft Show has moved around over the years, but now it is settled into a home at Coney Island. And local 12 News reporter Joe Webb joins us at an event that is so Cincinnati, isn't it, Joe? You know, it really is, Cammie, and I have to tell you, the weather has finally cleared. It's still overcast, but they're hoping for a really mild weekend out here at Coney for Summer Fair and bringing in maybe 20,000 people to Summer Fair 2012. You know, for many in Cincinnati, it's a family tradition, just like riding the Island Queen to Coney Island was a family tradition. A summer for As things started to dry out this morning, 300 exhibits sprang to life on the grounds of Coney Island. There is a bit of just about everything, from stained glass to coffee mugs to fine jewelry. Well, Summer Bear is one of the finest fine arts and craft shows in the United States. We've always ranked in the top 25 of the best 100 art shows for years and years and years. Summer Fair started in the summer of 1968 as a street festival in Mount Adams to celebrate the opening of the Marks Theater at the Playhouse in the Park. For a while, it was at Mirror Lake in Eden Park. It even spent some time on the plaza level of Riverfront Stadium. And as it moved, it grew. And 30 summers ago, it landed at Coney Island. Look at this. Jewelry maker Aaron Rubenstein has exhibited at all 45 summer fairs. He's built a following of collectors, and some of his stuff here is already spoken for. But it's not the jewelry or the business that brings him back. My friends to meet again. I would like to see always my friends who still continue to run this show. The volunteers, the artists, all of them. Rubenstein brings more than 100 new original designs to Summer Fair each year. But not everyone has been around since the 60s. This is Ramon Gibbs' first summer fair. He makes what he calls jewelry furniture. You can see this curly maple and walnut creation is a lot more than a jewelry box. Friends told him he belonged at summer fair. Well, people told me this is where I should be with the type of craft that I have. Uh, we were doing craft shows and they said, actually get out, you weren't supposed to be here. So. Uh, they, we start venturing toward the art shows, and here we are. It's also where 20,000 or more visitors will shop and gawk for the next three days. So this is a Cincinnati jewel in the art community that uh, we want to get many people out here as possible to enjoy and see. All of the arts and crafts at Summer Fair are handmade by the artists who are here. Nothing is mass produced. If you've never been out here, it is a really fun place to see a lot of really creative, interesting art, jewelry, clothing, ceramics, you name it, all kinds of stuff. Plus, there's live music and food. More than 750 artists applied to be in this year's Summer Fair, but they only let in 300, so it is the cream of the crop. It runs until 8 o'clock tonight, 10 to 8 tomorrow, 10 to 5 on Sunday. Cammie? All right, you've had a chance to walk around, Joe. Do you have a favorite type of art or a booth or something there? You know, I always, I'm a sucker for stained glass. I like, I like the stained glass, but the thing is, you know, if you come out here looking for something in particular, what you're going to find is a whole bunch of different things that you never even imagined. What some of these people do with stuff that I would consider junk is amazing. I mean, there's a guy that's made some clocks out of a bunch of stuff that's just discarded material. There's some lamps that are made out of some really unique woods. I mean, just all kinds of stuff that, you know, I wouldn't even have thought about. But, you know, like I said, I'm, the, I'm kind of a sucker for the stained glass. All right, a lot of unique things there. Joe, thank you for that. Summer Fair, by the way, is $10 for adults, and kids under 12 get in free.